In this video, we are dispelling some of the myths surrounding the ash juniper tree, also known as cedar. It's a common myth that cedar is not native to Central Texas. Many people believe cedar has invaded what was historically a vast open grassland, but that's another myth. In fact, large portions of the hill country were heavily wooded with cedar, oaks, and other trees long before European settlement. Numerous eyewitness accounts tell us what the hill country was really like when settlers first arrived. In 1756, a Spanish explorer described the Guadalupe, Blanco, and Pedernales river basins like this. In all this region, there are no commodities nor anything except good cedar and oak timber. His expedition crossed many swollen creeks and thickets of cedar and oak timber. Other eyewitnesses described mile after mile of heavy cedar forest across large parts of the hill country. However, the hill country was not totally wooded. Explorers also wrote about open grasslands and savannas mixed in with the heavy woods. But the historical record is clear that the region was heavily wooded and those forests were often dominated by ash juniper. Based on the early written accounts, old growth junipers were large stately trees that were a treasure to the colonists since juniper wood was preferred above all others for its durability and resistance to decay. These vast juniper forests were extensively logged for fuel, railroad ties, fence posts, and building material beginning in the mid to late 1800s. According to historical records, 200,000 cedar ties were shipped from Austin between 1872 and 1874. By the early 1900s, much of the old growth cedar had already been cleared and new young cedar was quickly growing back. To those who never saw the original forests of virgin cedar, the rapid regrowth of young, thick cedar may have given the impression of an invasive plant. You and I can help preserve our natural heritage by sharing the fact that cedar trees are native to the hill country. And with proper management, good stewardship, and time, today's landowners can help restore these iconic and valuable juniper oak forests.